Welcome back to my channel, Thomas Cosmic Tarot. If this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I feel like divine timing has brought us to this point. You and I are here together. I am here. You are there. We are collectively joining each other energetically by way of the World Wide Web. And that in itself is something absolutely to have an attitude of gratitude about. My hope for you is that when you come in and you get exactly what it is that you need to get from this reading, and I hope too that you have peace that surpasses all understanding, no matter what you find out, be that good, bad, or indifferent. I hope that you're able to sit with yourself, take accountability, and just, you know, take the truth, whatever that is. I have to be honest, nine times out of 10, honestly, you already know that you know. If you are really going within, doing that spiritual work, adhering to the spiritual laws, being obedient to your higher self, your calling, you know, having those real conversations with your ancestors, I promise you, you came here just to get a beautiful confirmation. Some of you came to get additional clarification. And there's also a special group of you that came here just for entertainment purposes. Some of you are here just for shits and giggles. And some of you are here for spiritual reasons, right? Maybe just to get a beautiful spiritual lesson or to learn from somebody's situation or your own. Maybe it's all of the above. Shout out to the people that absolutely survived the long intros. Shout out to the people that survived those commercial breaks by Google AdSense. I'm so grateful, thank you. Nevertheless, if you're returning back to the channel, you are my beautiful, amazing, fine as wine, getting better with time, in alignment, shining so bright, Soul Tribe family. Special shout out to all the people that are in the members group, the Supernova Star Lights, you are my beautiful, stars shining so bright. I love all my cousins, brothers, and sisters. I really, really do. Shout out to the people that tag me in videos, you know? I got tagged in a video the other night, y'all, and I was bawling like a baby. I said, I gotta check my tags more, you know? And whoever you are, you are a beautiful Nubian sister, queen, and you were literally getting the Holy Spirit. Like I felt your vibe, it was so pure, so beautiful. You tagged me in a video and you did a, a short, I think it was. And uh, I heard my voice in the background singing Soul Tribe. Girl, I cried like a baby. I just felt like, wow. You know, the Soul Tribe song is something that I sing from my soul because I mean it. What I had to go through to get here is probably no different than what a lot of us have had to go through. Um, but at the same time, I'm really grateful. So when I sing that song, it really does come from my soul. I watched that video and I was bawling out of control. I was like, spirit, you're just your beautiful spirit playing my song in the background, our song, not my song, it's our song, okay? Um, and just the vibration and the appreciation and the purity in your heart. Baby, you didn't say that much. You just said a little bit, but your energy jumped out at me at a time that all I could tell you is that it was right on time. So thank you, I love you. I gotta get better at checking, you know, the mentions tab. You know, when people mention you, I'll get better at that, I promise. I will nevertheless come on in, my beautiful soul tribe. Soul tribe. Soul tribe. Love and light. Soul tribe. Shine. So tribe, I 
freaking love you. You know I do. I hope you felt it because I meant it. Let me start out with my order in the court cards. This is going to be a timeless reading. When you find it is when you're supposed to find it. It is timeless. It is all in divine timing. But this is current energy, okay? None of the past energy. I was guided by my spirit guides to just leave those doors shut. I think retrograde did a really good job, you know, bringing a whole bunch of that stuff to the surface. That's just how I feel. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel. I'm going through a very serious ascension. It's very deep, y'all. It's good though. I like it, you know? You remember back in the day, not to be bringing up the past all like that, but just in a very positive way, when you would go through your dark nights of the soul, you're like, oh my God, they're doing death spells. Listen, if death spells got you promoted, they could have never, ever taken you out. So says the Most High, premature death absolutely had to pass you by because you're still here and the vital uh energy that you give is essential to the natural world honey come on in let's just see what's going on beautiful spirit team my beautiful angel guides please keep my heart chakra in a beautiful heart posture please keep my throat chakra speaking the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth i am asking that my beautiful uh spirit team guide me and or protect me and that source you see fit to use me to channel this energy for the beautiful divine collective so shall it be. Again, take what resonates with the rest for somebody else to take. It really is just that simple. Give me current energy, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. I just heard they're still trying. 1044 on the clock, y'all. That's the real time on the clock. Secure foundation. They're still trying. Secure foundation. This has come out consistently in uh, the collective readings. Oh, Spirit is saying as it should. Okay, so a lot of you are feeling real good, real grounded changing your diet. You know what's so interesting is the more I ascend, there's just certain things that I absolutely cannot eat anymore, like at all. You know what I mean? I was always a very picky eater, but in, in terms of just what I put in my body, I can't just eat anything. No, you can't take me to McDonald's. I'm not eating McDeath. No, it's a no, okay? It's a hell to the no. The sign on the front of McDonald's says, uses things or whatever it says that causes cancer, Child, listen, you just gonna go sign up for it. Okay, nevertheless, let me let me come on back. Okay, let me be fair. Let me just channel the message because you know I will absolutely have a commercial break in a heartbeat. <laughs> Needless to say, so your taste buds could be changing, your diet could be changing, your ears could be ringing more. You're very grounded, I know. Breathe through it, a lot of deep breathing. Secure foundation, I just heard they're still trying. I don't know who they are, but they are still trying, okay? Possibly to shake up your foundation, I just heard, but you're still grounded. Yeah, who is this person? Who are these people? Scorned lovers, scorned friends, plotting, revenge, schemes. Um, <sighs> Ooh, Spirit just said, same shit, different day. <laughs> That's horrible. I wouldn't want to wake up in this person's shoes. I wouldn't want to be this person. You know, unfortunately, uh, they're committed to some type of plot twist, uh, savagery, just wanting to take you down, some type of weird ass scheme that's not working. Somebody feels as though they need to get revenge and they're not going to stop until they get it. But your, your foundation is secure, okay? I always say when you're rooted in the truth, you know the truth, you're standing in the truth. You know who you are. There's not much that can come up against you. So we still got some of this fraudulent activity. Somebody could be trying to hack into your information. Um, whatever that is, that too has been coming up. I just heard gigolo, gigaho. Ooh, child, hang low, sweet chariot. Okay, my ancestors are funny. <laughs> somebody, somebody is tossing that thing, spreading it wide. Leaning to the side, trying to get somebody's money, okay? Christmas money, birthday money, tax money. I can't make it up. You got the Ten of Pentacles. Something about your money is secure. Your gifts are secure. Whatever somebody is doing, they're just trying. Mm, spirit says they're crying. So this person could be having some type of spiritual outburst. Not even a spiritual outburst. They're having a full-blown tantrum. Why did I say spiritual outburst? 
Clarify spiritual outbursts. They're losing it. Something about your money being secure, okay? Something about money. Capricorn energy. Something that's rightfully yours. Something that's due to you. What am I hearing, spirit? So somebody's trying to figure out how to wiggle their way back into your life. It's like there's an ulterior motive, a plot, a scheme, a plan. Somebody sees that you're abundant or you're going into some type of season of abundance. It's almost like somebody can smell it, you know, from a mile away. Like, oh, you're doing good. Like they can feel it. They can smell it. They know you're doing good. And they want to wiggle their way back in, but they can't figure out a way to get back in. What's with the fraud? Four of Swords, child. Somebody, yeah, is thinking about how they're going to get back in. Four of Swords is meditation. And this particular, you know, reading, it's uh, scheming, thinking of how to scam you, get back in, how to get back into your energy. But your foundation is too secure. Yeah, you close this cycle. This is what secure looks like. <laughs> with the world card, you know, the world represents endings. And with every door that closes, other new, excuse me, I was going to say other new doors <laughs> open. Y'all bear with me because sometimes the downloads come in faster than I can speak them out. And after I come up out of my meditation, y'all, I feel very euphoric. Like I feel high. Like literally, I feel like, I don't know about y'all, but something about breathing and just taking in the moment and being grounded. When I come up out of my meditations, I'm like, I'm laughing, you know. I thank God for that, y'all. I remember meditation was not always easy, you know. So for those of you that are practicing it, stay at it. Control your thoughts, you know. Lovingly just guide your thoughts right on back. Join me on the other platform. We'll do a video about that. We'll have a conversation Healing Lives with Positivity 24-7, 365, 365, 24-7. It's my other platform. It's where we talk about positivity. We're addicted to it obsessively, compulsively, because positivity is a good addiction. Why not? Okay. Needless to say. Okay. That was an infomercial, commercial break, plugging my other platform. I hope to see you there. Before Swords... Page of Pentacles, yeah, somebody is like contemplating, thinking how to get to your money, how to get to you. Um, they could still have something that belongs to you by way of your identity, okay? Somebody's trying to get something. Mm, they're trying to figure out how to do it, but the cycle's closed. I feel like whatever they're thinking, you can see it, in, in, you know, coming a mile away. It's like, yeah, I can see your energy from two planets away, yeah, you're holding back your energy. You're secure, four of pentacles. You're secure. Whatever you have, your money, your things, spirit is saying yes, yes, yes. Maybe you were, you know, having a little bit of anxiety about your money, okay? For a lot of you, you're having dreams. You're starting to see what will happen or you're getting really big signs in your dreams of what's to come or it's just exposing people, but four of pentacles is about holding on. There's a lot of pentacles here. You got the ten of pentacles, page of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. Four of pentacles also represents you holding back communication with the world. Clarifying, yeah, you close the damn door. You're just not interested in whatever somebody is trying to, you know, sell you. I just heard this person cry wolf so much. Nobody believes them. Somebody's got wolf tickets for sale. You're not buying it. You're not with the bullshit. Mm. Interesting. But your ancestors are with the shits. You're coming, you're coming out as the queen of pentacles. I'm getting earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn. Something about money, honey. Whatever you're doing, it's going to work out. Everything's going to work out. I just heard, and it all works out. And it all works out. It will all work out somehow. Whatever you've been through, Spirit says it all works out. I don't know where that song came from. Nine of Wands. Somebody's paranoid, though. Way down. Okay? Clarify the Nine of Wands. Maybe that was you previously. But I feel like the moment you surrendered this to the universe and left uh, your spirit team to handle this by way of adhering to your higher self, 
care. You let these people out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Somebody wanted you in the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. This is somebody that wanted you way down, helpless and homeless is what I just heard. But here's the thing, right? I feel like this person just wanted to take everything. Like this is this is like, you know, all or nothing type of an energy. Somebody wanted to take everything and just leave you down and out. But the five of pentacles is really you leaving them out in the cold. And so now the tables have turned. So the same energy that they wanted you in, spirit is saying, thank you, spirit. They're in. This person could be going through some type of financial, you know, hardships. Nine of wands, they're way down. One wand away from being weighed down in the four swords, thinking about how they can come in and take something from you. And with the page of pentacles, you're getting good news about money. I just feel like you're in alignment. Ten of pentacles, that's a lot of money. Four of pentacles, you're holding on to your wealth. You're holding on to your energy. You're holding back communication and you're closing out this cycle. Spirit has said, correction, you have closed out this cycle. Closing means actively closing a door. You have closed. Thank you, spirit. My spirit gods are real sarcastic. As in ED closed, they said, let's be clear. The four of pentacles continue to hold that communication from this person. Queen of pentacles, very grounded. You're secure. Anybody can be the queen of pentacles, any sign, a woman, a man. You've balanced out your finances with the two of pentacles, okay? And you're manifesting abundance, period. Two of pentacles also represents just balancing out your energy, you know? After leaving people out in the cold, I feel like this is one particular person. Could be more than one person, but I'm getting like one particular person. I'm getting like a karmic. Well, there's several people. Yeah, Spirit said, yes, yeah, several people. They just addicted to drama, trauma. It's so unfortunate. But the magician is you manifesting a whole new reality exempt from these people. And this is, this is really what has them weighed down. Because as you're planning, as you're manifesting, they're not included in your imagery, in your mind. You're not thinking about these people. Two of Pentacles, you've balanced something out already. You already know what this is. You've balanced something out mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know how you feel about everything that has happened to you up until this point and what is happening for you. And when you start to lay things down to that capacity, you leave room for the universe to just come in and bring in beautiful energy. This is absolutely radiant energy. Yeah, ain't nobody buying the wolf tickets. Spirit keeps saying this person's crying wolf. Okay. Ooh, Spirit said this is a silver tongue, slick fox. 10.55 on the clock. You got money coming. Big Oshun energy. Yeah, silver tongue, slick fox. Somebody knows how to say that say. They know how to talk that talk. Somebody's a manipulator. They know how to talk somebody out of anything, okay? Except you're just not anybody. You've got great intuition. I feel like this person lays it on thick, honey, okay? They know how to come in and talk and, well, you know, you know, somebody's a professional what they do. They're very greedy. They're very obsessive, okay? Compulsive, obsessive energy by way of everything that they have, they have to have a lot of it. If they got money, they want a lot of it. If they have food, they want a lot of it. Somebody overindulges in worldly possessions. They're very much in their shadow. The devil represents shadow, uh, toxicity, you know, toxic relationships, uh, drama. You know, this is the kind of person when things are calm, they wreak havoc. They don't know how to uh, be at peace. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Now, psychology, you know, I was just studying something the other day and I was reading about arrested development. I don't know if I told you I went to school for English pre-law, then I went to school for psychology. But nevertheless, um, we talked about arrested development. And when I say psychology, I was going to be uh, a chemical dependency therapist. Okay, I think it's like back then they called it clerical therapist one or two. But you could work with people that were addicted, right, to drugs. And I wanted to bring in like herbal remedies, you know. I'll tell y'all my story back in the day. I used to have a lot of people from the trenches come to my door. Some of them were addicted to crack and all kinds of stuff. And I would give them herbal teas and guayaki teas and things like that uh, to help curb, you know, the craving, and this is back in my 20s. I know, it's a lot. 
I'll tell y'all about it later. But nevertheless, arrested development, let's talk about it. Arrested development, what is this? Somebody circumvents with everything that's around them. They feel like, oh, okay, if I have money, then I'm somebody. If I have clothes, I'm somebody. Even though we all like nice things, somebody's whole life is predicated on image and outdoing other people or having a lot more money than you. It's like they can't be satisfied with what they have unless they have more than you. This person hoards money. This is the kind of person that'll have a hundred bucks in their pocket. They'll see you with $50, but if you go somewhere, they'll say, oh, I don't have any money just to hold on to that hundred dollars and to see you spend your 50. It's a very diabolical energy, okay? Very low vibrational. But now that the tables are turning, I feel like retrograde is not leaving any stones unturned. My ears are ringing. Child, it's a lot going on in the ethers. Clarify this person. Yeah, retrograde is making people face their, um, I just heard their significance. Yeah, what is your significance right now to the universe? What is your significance? How are you validating your life while in the earth and on this planet? Child, spirit said we make it people validate their significance your significance to source your significance to this higher understanding awakening the new world because we're watching the world as we know it die hence the fact that the world is there we're bringing in a new way of being and the devil just ain't nowhere in the plans when the when source was all things a source of all things in all things thank you spirit was drawing up the blueprint the devil was not included whoever you are and i feel like this is overall divine collective energy so i'm just going to say us we're not planning with these people in mind respectfully you've closed these doors and you know that in that the great reward is opening up the doors of the land and milk and honey which is peace bliss you know, I've been seeing signs. I was driving today. I always go up to this uh, trail, right? There's so many beautiful walking paths around me. I'm so grateful. I was going to this trail and this was a new one that I had passed by accidentally a couple of weeks ago, but I couldn't remember where it was. So I was just going based off memory. The signs were all around me. Every time I looked over, I would see something that said power. Then I looked over here and it said bliss. Then I looked over here and I saw love. Then a bus passed me and I saw peaceful beginnings. I was like, spirit, come through with the messages. I looked down at the clock, it was 11, 11. You know, it was very, very much in order. But again, being grounded, secure foundation, right? Aware that you're aware, that is the great awakening. Once you're aware of self going within, checking yourself, calling judgment on yourself, like, yo, don't do that again. Yo, you was wrong for what you said right there. But saying that to self, you then open up your eyes to things around you and everything around you will start to give you what it is that you need. And the world and the signs that you get will start to tell you the truth. So I felt like in that moment, spirit was telling me, focus on bliss, focus on peace. So I was like, okay. The signs were like right in front of me. I'm like, this is amazing. You know, it was beautiful energy, needless to say. That was just a very impromptu story I just decided to tell. But in that, right, that is the blueprint. You're not thinking about these people is the moral of my story. You're thinking peaceful thoughts. You're thinking bliss. You're thinking, you know, friendships, happiness, joy. Why? Because you've thought about that stuff enough. You processed it. You went back in the past so many times that you're just like, I don't want to talk about that no more. I'm tired of thinking about that. It's 11 on one on my clock. Come through with the come through spirit. So two of cups. A lot of people think this has something to do with partnerships outside of you. No, you decided to be your own best friend because you like yourself. You're supporting yourself, right? So then you got somebody coming along who doesn't like themselves, who's living a lie comfortably, doesn't see that anything is wrong with them. They got a whole bunch of baggage and a whole bunch of wolf tickets to unpack. Listen, living under some type of an illusion, seven of cups, their energy naturally will just go away from you. Why? Because you're in too high of a vibration. Every room that we walk into, when that vibration is really high, if something is off its kilter or something is not right and in order, my energy naturally will repel it. I've seen people like move quick, quick. All right, bye. I got to go. I'm like, oh, okay, bye. I just feel like, well, well, maybe that was our time together. 
You know, maybe you're going to go fix yourself. But somebody's under some type of an illusion and they want you to be too. Yeah, those days of projecting your dark ass, unhealed ass energy onto beautiful energy. No, the door is closed. So what you're getting now is the mirroring effect. You're getting a reflection back of who you are, be that good, bad, or indifferent. Everybody's being held accountable to go within. You either do or you don't, you will or you won't, you can or you can't, you shall or you shan't. Whatever it is, we all have free will. The star, you're shining. You could be in the public eye or something that you're doing is getting you some type of recognition. Clarify the star. Somebody's watching you. Come up. Somebody's watching God love on you. You love on you. Yeah, look, I can't make this up. And naturally, you're manifesting a partnership. But first, because you've come into partnership with yourself. This Ace of Swords represents you being courageous enough to be honest with yourself about yourself, being real with yourself about what it is that you need to change. This has absolutely nothing to do with somebody coming along and saying, you need to do this and you're going to pay and you, 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 you. Nah, this has to do with you saying, you know what? Look, what's going on? Having a real conversation with yourself, be that in the bathroom or the bathtub. You know, the bathroom is my favorite place, child. When I get into the bathtub, Child, something about being in the water. Take me to the water. I have real conversations with myself. And a lot of the trauma that we went through, y'all, child, I be laughing. I never thought I would see the day that I would honestly sit up and be laughing at my pain. Never in a million years could you have told me that. Now, in that moment, child, I would have told you you was crazy. I may have even, you know, have said some very not so choice words towards you, you know, in those painful moments. Like, what the, what the, beep, beep, beep. This is what happened to me, beep, 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 beep. Now I look back, I was like, girl, look at you way back then. Look at you, little baby shaman. You're just growing. Look at you. Up here to 2024, right? Yeah, real conversations. So you're having those real conversations. So the fake ain't gonna make it. The wolf tickets ain't woofing and they ain't ticketing. Nobody's buying any tickets to this whack ass box office ass demonic ass show. It's a no for once. You got a partnership coming in though. I feel like you're naturally just in this partnership with yourself. And so somebody's coming in because you're just like a magnet to love. Somebody comment down below. I'm a love magnet. <laughs> Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Somebody is stressed out, child. Who's making love to my old baby while I was out messing up? Yeah, while you was out being a thieving ass thug. <laughs> Definitely not the thug bones in harmony. Listen, somebody was out here being a straight up fraudulent ass slick tongue slicker than a can of oil type of a person somebody's slick honey they're a con artist they don't never tell the truth somebody that lies so much they don't know what the truth is nine of swords this person's going through sleepless nights not to mention seven of cups somebody is quite delusional that's unfortunate holy spirit i just want to take a, a moment right now to send whoever this person is love and light honestly y'all this person's in a bad situation they're having mental breakdowns the devil's on their ass you know they can't they can't put up this facade anymore five of pentacles they could have lost everything or something's going on with their finances their way down remember they have stolen from people okay not just finances but energetically, mentally, they played games with people that thought that they were serious, okay? So now they're having to pay it back and they don't like paying this back. You can't get an installment agreement with the universe. You gotta pay this back in full and somebody don't like it, but somebody got a full plate of, of karmic debt. This is the truth spirit is saying, hold on, my spirit guys want me to know something. Yes, yes, yes. What is it that I need to know? Yeah, somebody's in genuine too. Page of Cups wanted to come up upside down. It came out like this, kind of like, you know, at what is this, like uh, two o'clock, one o'clock, okay? <laughs> it's a no, boo. Somebody's ingenuine, insensitive. They're, they're, they're crying wolf. Page of Cups is like uh, they're crying because they can't win. They're crying to see if you're going to, 
you know, show them some type of sympathy. They see you in this loving, abundant nature. They know that you have a big, beautiful heart, a loving heart, that your heart posture is beautiful. You're forgiving. You know why? There's no way that you could have manifested this by way of the universe had you not been in a beautiful heart alignment. So somebody feels as though they're going to come along, like I said, and sell you these wolf tickets and that you're going to buy it. And it's a no. Remember when? Seven of Pentacles. They want you to, you know, invest in them. It's a no. Mm -mm. Five of Swords, okay? This person wants conflict. This is the kind of person that if they don't get their way, 11.08 on the clock, something's spinning a block. Damn. Energetically, Spirit said, okay. This is the kind of person that if they don't get their way, they just become more and more manipulative. They go back, you know, to their manipulative ass, you know, hole in the wall. And I say hole in the wall respectfully because in order to conjure up all this dark ass energy, you've got to be in some type of escapade of hell, mentally, okay? Yeah, somebody's in mental hell, okay? Meanwhile, you got heaven on earth. These are two completely, totally different, you know, uh, existences, okay? Rightfully so. But somebody becomes more and more manipulative, possibly even belligerent, if you don't, get, if you don't give them what they want. This is that kind of person. Yeah, I can't make it up. Queen of Cups energy, they're coming to try to pull on your heartstrings. Scorpio Pisces Cancer, big Piscean energy, okay? Eight of Cups, somebody's having to walk away or this is you. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away from this bullshit. Listen, it's 11.09 on the clock. That is 911 backwards. Listen, you saved yourself, okay? This person does something repetitively, consistently. Spirit says diabolically, okay? Um, and you just were like, mm -mm, you'll never change. This is what you felt walking away from this person. And maybe you were, you know, saying that with the hopes that maybe one day they would change. I feel like you said that in a way like, I hope you change one day. But in this moment, you'll never change. Somebody was doing something over and over and over and over. You're very kind to this person. Very sweet, very loving. Anybody can be the Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands can be the Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords, the Empress. She's the Empress, so she's always going to come up in this current energy as all the Queens, right? You got the hell up out of there. Three of Wands is, is guided by your ancestors. This is what you did. You said, no, I'm good. So this person's like you know, feeling bad, you know, but you left me. This is somebody that's, that's, that's delusional. Ain't nothing else to say. Somebody's not taking accountability. They're mad because whatever they're trying to cook up in this four swords energy is not working. They don't know how to come back in and wiggle their way back into your good graces. Six of pentacles. They want you to give them something. Meanwhile, you're going into a partnership with somebody that has a high respect for you. It's mutual. It's good energy, equal give and take. A beautiful divine union. This is a friendship also. Not only that, two people that really love themselves and they're genuine. Yeah, and it's equal give and take. So why would you go here where somebody is just taking and taking and they're not genuine? Yeah, it's a no. Yeah, you, you, you're saying no. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's a no. Yeah, judgment. Mm. Clarify what's going on, spirit. Yeah, this person betrayed you over and over and over and over and over. And they want to come back and do it again. To take something from you, steal from you. They feel entitled. And meanwhile, you have somebody that's coming in that really does care about you. This is beautiful energy. Two people working on themselves. 33, 33 on the clock. Two beautiful ascended masters. Self-love is the answer. Okay? This foreign lover, friend. They're plotting though. Yeah, they want to be in the middle of whatever you got going on. They're trying to stop it. Three of Cups. They're watching you celebrate though too, okay? Knight of Pentacles, somebody's coming in with a breadcrumb to try to win at all costs, okay? Three of Cups represents somebody wanting to be in the middle of your celebrations, your wins, your beautiful energy. They just want to be there. They're like, oh, hey, remember me? Like they want to come in to the party. You're like, no, it's 11, 11 on the clock. You weren't invited. <laughs> that is the real time. Six of Wands, they're watching you in the victory. Yeah, clarify this person. Anything else we need to see about this person? Yeah. They want to reconcile, but you have something new coming in here. The Ace of Cups could represent new business, new love, new friendships, just a new mindset. I'm just going to be honest. This energy's been so consistent with the beautiful Divine Collective. I'm so proud of us 
I'm just so very proud of us that we're not curbing our enthusiasm. This person could have been under some type of an illusion that you were suffering without them. They could have been projecting their energy onto you with the seven of cups spirit is saying and the nine of swords to put you in some type of anxiety or so that you would lose momentum or lose, what am I hearing? So that you would be uninspired. Like as in what? To live? What the hell? <laughs> Just uninspired. Not, I don't know what the, I, I feel like uninspired in life. Yeah, but you kept going. You're like, okay, feel the way you want to. <laughs> this is the kind of person that's saying like, you're going to lose, you're going to this. You're like, okay, that's fine. Bye. You ain't going to change. At least not today, but I got to go. And I don't want to stick around. You know what I mean? I'm not betting on you anymore, sir, ma'am. The chariot, you're moving forward. This person's very immature. Ten of cups. You got the ten of cups. Yeah, this is crazy. Anything else we need to see, Holy Spirit? Anything else for the beautiful Divine Collective? Right now, you are single, solo, dolo. Nine of Pentacles is independent energy. For some of you, you're about to have a baby, okay? So please prepare. I feel like you know that. You're very intuitive. You're tapped in. Nine of Pentacles, single as a Pringle, self-sufficient, independent, coming into union with beautiful people and a beautiful partnership here. This is not just a lover. This is like a lover, a friend, and just good people in general, too. Yeah, you got people coming in to show you love. It's going to start out very nice, very innocent, very friendly, very respectful. Knight of Cups is like, you know, somebody that wants to come in and offer their love. And they're just, you know, it's a friendship. Yeah, it's just not just, you know, come on, let's jump in the bed type of an energy. Somebody's looking for a life partner, but in the interim, they're very satisfied with themselves. It's not codependent energy. Like, I got to get somebody, you know? This is like, oh, you know, if somebody comes along, <laughs> then, uh, you know, it'll be fun type of an energy. Somebody's going to be communicating with the eight of wands. Whatever it is, it's coming in fast, Okay. Probably a lot faster than I feel like what a lot of us anticipated. And whoever this other person is that tried to, you know, <sighs> change your mind. The hangman in the reverse. This is somebody who's manipulating. They refuse to see the error of their ways. If you pick up the phone and you call this person today, they will be in the same mind state that you left them in. Somebody is a manipulator, a narcissist. They will never admit what they did. This person likes conflict. They like to argue. It'll always be a story that they tell based on them being the victor or them being the good guy or them being this, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like uh, wanting people to see, what am I trying to say? heroism is that it like to, they want to be the hero but really they're the devil they're manipulative there's they'll steal from you they'll lie they'll cheat they'll look you right in your face and the crazy part is they have no remorse there's no sympathy no empathy like this is the kind of person that yeah you need to stay away from okay yeah clarify fraud they might get caught up yeah, somebody might get caught up with something. I don't know what it is, but they're desperate for for money. I just heard desperate to keep up in um, some type of an image. Keeping up with the Joneses is what I just heard. Damn, spirit guys. What else? Somebody's going to get caught up, though. Yeah, King of Swords might be significant. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Why is there King of Swords here? Somebody feels like they're a mastermind. Why is that there? Yeah, the lovers. Somebody's hiding something. Yeah, somebody's a gigolo. Okay, it's the kind of person that comes in, you know, wanting to jiggle low and hang low and hang out and be friends and talk you out of your money, your underwear. And, you know, this is the kind of person that could sell water to a sink, to the average sink. Now, if you're the sink, you're not average. Somebody cannot come in and sell you these wolf tickets. Child, yeah, the lovers, get up out of here. What are you doing? They're always coming in plotting. They got a whole bunch of secrets, child. You intuitively feel it. You don't give a damn what the secrets are. I feel like you already know, but you don't care to know. It's like, mm, what can I do with this information? Now that I know that you're just a dirty, rotten scoundrel, you're just a funky little bastard. Like, okay, yeah, five of wands. They got a whole bunch of people competing for them. They like to see people fight over them. 
but they don't have anything. Everything that they have, they've stolen. So there's energy attached to those stolen things. There's energy attached to what they've taken from people. I mean, be that time, energy, okay? Selling wolf tickets, you know, getting people to buy it with people thinking that, you know, something real is going to come out of it. Yeah, this person could have some other type of addictions too. They absolutely think addictive. Yeah, they got some addictions. Okay. Seven of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Devil. This person's got some type of serious addictions. This is what they're hiding. Okay, this could be drug addictions. This could be addicted to pills, sex. And then it's crazy because they project in that toxic energy. Yeah, 1118. I don't want to get into that. Mm -mm. Secure foundation. Anything else? Yeah. Mm -mm. This person is weighed down. They're weighed down because you're not weighed down. They're, we're hoping that they would have left you in a mental space or place where they could always come back and revisit whatever that lie was that they wanted you to believe. But again, even that is a form of delusion of grandeur because they are feeling like they left you in a space. It shows here that you walked away. <laughs> This person could be lying, telling people stuff about the past. Like, yeah, I didn't want her no more. I didn't want him no more. You know, being a guy or a woman, whatever it is, take it as it resonates. But somebody's out here still selling whoop tickets to anybody that'll buy them things, child. It's not creative. It's very predictable. It's actually quite sad. I'm laughing to keep from crying, but I refuse to curb my enthusiasm. I hope this person gets it together. Uh, everybody send this person love and light. We don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Boom, we send you love and light. Get it together because your shit is in shambles and all of this is coming to the surface. Somebody can't hide nothing. They think they're hiding, but they're not. This person's not a good liar. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And they come in like, I want to tell you the truth, but it's always mixed, you know, with a, with, with, with just a pinch of lies, just a, just a dash of more manipulative ass lies and they're weighed down it's not working out nevertheless this is the story i love y'all so much shout out to all the people that have sent me love donations shout out to the people that just think well of me i really do appreciate that for sending me love and light i love you so much i love you my sisters my brothers i will see you absolutely in the next video until then as always peace be with you